Is that ivy climbing your screen? Hang on, let me get that off of you. Ah, there we go. How did it even get there? Reaching far above the forest floors and scaling houses brick by brick, be it ivy, the common grapevine, wisteria or cleavers. There are plenty of plants that have a habit of climbing. However, have you noticed anything about that list? They all climb differently. Climbing as a habit and ability has arisen several times throughout the evolution of various plant lineages. Taxonomic groups of climbing plants also show great diversity and distinct climbing mechanisms. This tells us that climbing has proven to be an advantageous adaptation to deal with a variety of environments, especially surrounding vegetation. The major benefit of climbing is cheaper access to light, as plants get to reach up high above surrounding vegetation without the need to provide as much own structural support. However, there's also another secondary benefit, escaping herbivores. Some plants, like nomadic vines, even lose their contaction to the ground and entirely, leaving them fully out of reach. Climbing plants have even been observed to increase their rate of climbing, such as twining by vines, in response to leaf damage, suggesting that they have indeed evolved to make use of this advantage to get away from herbivores. So then, how do plants climb? Plants have developed a variety of clever answers to this. Let's have a look at a few of them. Tendrils are sensitive structures that are often regarded as the most specialized climbing mechanism because they are used exclusively for climbing. They can develop from a variety of plant parts and take on a variety of shapes, but usually they appear as slender yet robust thread-like strands. The common grape is an example of a climbing plant that uses tendrils. However, its tendrils are forked, creating two arms per tendril. These tendrils swing around in circles constantly, albeit too slow for us to see without a time lapse, in search of anything to climb. This behavior is called circumutation and was already described by Charles Darwin in 1875. As soon as the tendrils encounter any kind of trellis, they begin to wrap and coil around it. As they coil, they pull the main stem of the plant closer towards the support, also bringing other tendrils in range to hold on. Let's take a look at the other climbing mechanisms in a part two, because this is quite the extensive topic. Also check out the full post in my blog linked in the pinned comment below.